So, hello and welcome. So today we're going to focus on assertiveness. Now, what assertiveness is, is being able to consciously choose in a situation to engage in a situation rather than avoid it. And that's all assertiveness is. You know, imagine in all the different situations you could be in in your life. Now, there's a tendency to avoid, to withdraw, to become introverted, to stare at the ground, to mumble, to look away, and to get into a low energy state and, and feel that you just cannot cope with this situation, you know? And there's the tendency to go in the opposite direction, where you feel assertive, where your, your energy is high, where you, you can respond quickly and easily, where you want to gauge in the situations and you feel alive and you feel strong in yourself. And the difference between the two, you know, is primarily how you move your physical body. So naturally, obviously, your nervous system, um, you know, is connected intricately to your physical body. And how you move your physical body really determines in those situations how you're going to feel and how you're going to be able to, to come across and be assertive or not be assertive. Does that make sense? You know, it's, it's really difficult, isn't it? If I stayed at the ground, if my voice dropped in, in tonality, if, um, you know, I felt uncomfortable and stuff, my shoulders dropped down, if, um, you know, my, my body language became more, I'm going to feel a certain way in a situation. I'm going to feel uncomfortable. I'm going to feel awkward. I'm going to feel, you know, really, really insular within myself. And it's exactly the same when you move in the other direction. You know, shifting your physiological state you know, it's the easiest way, it's the easiest way for you to break that pattern of blushing over and over again so that every single time you blush, you actually f begin to feel assertive, you begin to feel confident, you begin to actually engage in the situation regardless if you blush. And what that does is it makes you feel more comfortable. And as you feel more comfortable, you find that you can, you know, respond to situations that you blush equally as well as if you didn't blush, which gives you the confidence that blushing doesn't have much of an impact on your life anymore. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Now, I don't know what specific you know, automatic reactions you've got at the moment to blushing, but just imagine, just imagine if you blush really strongly, you know, how your body responds, how your facial expressions respond, how your tonality, you know, responds, how your, you know, the energy in your body that you feel, in you know, how you respond. Do you engage? Are you active? Are you ready to move? Are you ready to respond? Are you ready to withdraw from the situation? Now, you know how you respond, and that's one of the, you know, the, the key things that really defines how you feel in that situation. So what we're going to do is we're going to train your nervous system, train your physiology, so that you're naturally more assertive in those situations. And more importantly than that, it gives you a skill, a technique, that every single time you do, it'll do three different things. It'll break down your old automatic reaction. So, so imagine if, um, you know, imagine that you've got one way at the moment that you respond to blushing. So to you, it feels like the only way it's possible to respond. Is that fair to say? And uh, what happens is this, when you begin to respond, whether it's rehearsing it in your mind, whether it's doing it actually in, in the real world, makes a lot of no difference. So when you begin to train your brain to respond differently in a situation, suddenly when that, when that um, initial situation happens, your brain has two different neural pathways then. You can go down one or go down the other. But the biggest difference is you then have a conscious choice. You know, if you're standing in front of um, uh, you know, three different exits and you had to choose which one, you'd have to consciously decide which one you wanted to go down. You know, if you were just down a corridor or if there was just one door, you just automatically go through it without any question. You know, and it's even, it's even more intricate you know, with your neurology where you just do it automatically. You just react to it without even any conscious um, consideration at all. Now, when I spoke to lots of people who have cured, resolved their own excessive blushing, it's the number one thing, the number one thing that people have done to succeed is that, is just make that decision, is choose, right, fuck it. Even though I hate it, even though it's horrible, even though it's horrific, I'm going to respond differently. I'm going to respond differently because I hate more than anything the way I actually respond to blushing. You know, having to avoid things, having to withdraw, having to, you know, feel uncomfortable with myself and not speak and not engage. You know, it makes me look daft, it makes me look like, like, like a 10-year-old. It's not being it's not being offensive but that's that's what often what people say to me and so knowing that in yourself training yourself to re, to respond differently to respond assertively you know it really is the number one thing which people do on their own to actually conquer blushing but it's really not just about blushing is it because responding assertively in that situation you know gives you the ability to to really move forward with, with whatever insecurities that you have that limit in your life good does that make sense so what we're going to do is this just imagine, imagine that you got in the highest energy state you possibly could. And all I mean by high energy is, you know, it's different, it's different how your body feels when you engage, when you move your body in a certain way. So we're going to move our bodies in a certain way to get you to begin to feel these feelings of certainness. Now, this is the first time, if this is the first time you've done it, 
They just really give you the best shot you can. But once you've learned it, once you know how to do it, I want you to really get yourself pumped, get yourself in the highest, strongest, assertive state you possibly can. And then when we associate that to blushing, associate that to memories of blushing, associate that to future events of blushing, you know, it's, 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 what it's gonna do is it's gonna create that neural pathway in your brain so that when you're actually in this situation, you automatically begin to have the tendency to feel assertive, to respond in a stronger way. Now, when people have done this, or I've spoken to before, they've just naturally noticed themselves um, engaging or saying things or responding in ways which normally they'd shut down and become introverted. And when they do that, what they've told me is that it automatically makes us feel much more comfortable and confident because they can trust in themselves again. Good, does that make sense? Brilliant. Well, now what we need to do is to start off is take a long deep breath in. Let's it out very short, sharp and powerfully. Take a long deep breath in. Short, sharp and powerfully. Right, feel the energy begin to flow throughout your whole body. Take a long deep breath in. Let it out. Now this time we're going to take a long deep breath in. Now you let it out. Clap your hands. Take a long deep breath in. Now you let it out. Clap your hands. Take a long deep breath in. Now you let it out. Clap your hands. Now take a long deep breath in. This time as you clap your hands, I want you to shout stop. Now shout it as if your life depended on it, as if literally someone was running towards you and you had to shout that word so loud, so strongly, so assertively that they'd just literally stop in their tracks and wouldn't know what to do. Okay, I'm not going to shout it that loud because there's people in the offices near me. <laughs> but you can, go for it. Take a long deep breath in. Let it out. Clap your hands. Stop! Take a long deep breath in. Let it out. Clap your hands. Stop! Take a long deep breath in. Let it out. Clap your hands. Stop! Good, now just, just do it yourself now. I won't do it, but you continue. Take a long deep breath in. Let it out. Clap your hands and shout stop. Take a long deep breath in. Let it out. Clap your hands and shout stop. Feel that energy flowing through your body. Feel assertive. Feel strong. Put your shoulders back. Look directly ahead of you. Feel good in yourself. Feel strong in yourself. Allow yourself to feel that sense of strength. Allow the adrenaline to flow through your body rather than the adrenaline cause you to want to avoid and run away from situations. Feel strong. Feel powerful in yourself. Allow yourself to feel that energy in your nervous system. Wonderful. Take a long deep breath in. Let it out powerfully. Now shout, clap your hands and shout stop. Feel strong in yourself. You can bounce on your toes if you want to. If that gets the energy flowing in your body. Take a long deep breath in. Let it out. Clap your hands, shout stop. Good, take a long deep breath in. Let it out powerfully. Clap your hands, shout stop. Good, now in a moment, we're gonna do that again. And when you shout stop this time, I want you to imagine yourself in a situation within the last year or so that you blushed and that you really, really disliked. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put yourself in that situation and the moment you clap your hands, I want you to imagine yourself there, but feeling assertive, feeling strong, and responding to the situation in the way you didn't then, but the way you really want to. Take a long deep breath in, let it out powerfully. <sighs> clap your hands and shout stop. Put yourself in that situation, imagine yourself there. Close your eyes and imagine yourself there. But imagine yourself responding differently, responding assertively, responding strongly to the situation, whether that's by engaging with the people around you, whether that's by being able to communicate back when people are looking at you and then you quite get, get shut down. Feel good in yourself, feel strong in yourself, responding in a way that you want to. Good. Take a long deep breath in, let it out. Shout stop. Take a long deep breath in, blow it out. Shout stop, good, right? And now you know what to do. I want you to continue doing that and get yourself into a really pumped, really strong assertive state. So continue going through that pattern. And as you continue going through it, continue taking a deep breath in, blowing the breath out strongly, clapping your hands and shot. Now continue doing that on your own. And as you do, I'm gonna talk you through three different scenarios. And I want you to put yourself in those scenarios really to help you break down those old patterns in your mind so you automatically become more assertive, stronger in every situation where you used to feel timid and shy, okay? Brilliant. Take a long deep breath in, let it out, clap your hands, shout stop. Good, now imagine yourself blushing right now. Imagine yourself being really embarrassed right now and continue doing the process whilst you're doing that. Imagine yourself feeling embarrassed and you're still taking a deep breath in, blowing out sharply, clapping your hands and shouting stop. 
but feeling strong, feeling assertive. Imagine that redness building in your face, but you're not caring because you feel so strong, you feel so assertive. It makes no difference. You're enjoying the moment, enjoying how your body feels, that you feel engaged, you feel strong, and you feel ready to respond to any situation. Imagine that blushing getting worse, really feeling that beaming redness glowing in your face. Imagine people around you pointing at you, laughing at you. Take a deep breath in and blow it out sharply, and that shout stop at all those people. You just don't care, you don't matter, it doesn't make any difference to you at all. You feel strong, notice them timidly walk away as you shout stop powerfully. Notice the blushing dissipate away as you shout stop strongly. Good, continue putting yourself in that high energy state. Take a deep breath in, blow it out strongly, clap your hands and shout stop as powerfully as strongly as you can. It's if almost someone was chasing you and you had one opportunity, one, no, it's if someone was chasing someone else and, and it was two, it was 100 meters away, you couldn't get to them in time and they had a knife. And you, and not 100 meters, within shouting distance, yeah? And, uh, and you had one opportunity. If you shouted that word as strongly as possible, that person might get confused or stop for a minute and that person might get away. You could save that person's life. Just imagine that. Take a long deep breath in, blow out sharply, powerfully, and shout stop as loud, as strongly, as assertively as you can. Good. And as you do that, imagine your face glowing bright red, blushing strongly. Put your shoulders back, feel strong in yourself, feel engaged in yourself. And as you shout stop, notice that blushing down. As you shout stop, notice that it makes no difference to you whether your face is warm or cold, whether your skin is white, black, red, or another color. It makes no difference to you. You feel strong, you feel assertive, you feel powerful within yourself. Good, now again, take a long deep breath, breath, blow it out powerfully, shout stop. And again, imagine that happening right now and continue following the process and continue shouting stop powerfully whilst imagining your face glowing bright red, people laughing at you around, and the moment you shout stop, they become timid, they look away, they become, you know, they become the lesser lions, and you become the strong lion, the lion who's the head, the headline, whatever that means, headline, <laughs> the top dog in that situation. Allow yourself to feel that sense of strength, feel that sense of power. Now you can bounce on your feet, you can take a deep breath in, but shout that word assertively. Take a deep breath in, Blow it out powerfully. Shout, stop! Allow yourself to feel that sense of assertiveness, that sense of power. If you move your body in a strong, powerful way, you will feel assertive. Good, now what we're gonna do is we wanna look forward to the future. A future situation where you blush. Maybe a situation where you blushed before. Maybe it's a specific situation event that you blush in. But now imagine yourself in that situation as you shout, stop. Put yourself in that situation. And when you used to blush, notice that your skin might feel red, notice that you may feel a bit embarrassed, but notice how you respond to the situation. Imagine yourself responding powerfully, feeling strong, you know, sp speaking strongly to your boss, speaking strongly to a girl or a boy you're attracted to, speaking strongly in a presentation, really engaging, really allowing your voice to echo throughout the room and you feel powerful, you feel engaged, you feel strong, you feel wonderful in self. Now this exercise builds and builds and builds and builds and builds. Like we said before, the first time you do it, what it does is it separates out your neurology before you had one way that you responded and you hated that way that you responded. Now you have two ways. Now you have a conscious choice. You have a conscious the ability to decide to be assertive in that situation. And every single time you are assertive in a situation, when you used to blush, when you used to feel embarrassed, it becomes easier and easier, and more automatic for you to engage and feel good in yourself. And every single time you watch me on this video, every single time you practice this technique on your own, it reinforces those feelings stronger and stronger and stronger. It becomes more automatic, it breaks down the old pattern and you naturally begin to have a strong physiology, you naturally engage in situations, you're naturally assertive and therefore you feel good in those situations, which is exactly what you want. Okay, awesome. I hope this is really, you know, I hope this is something that's really, really lit up your imagination about you know, the right steps to take to permanently recover and move forward to take your life to the next level in a way that's right for yourself. Awesome. Take care.